But now to a staggering statistic about the state of health care in the U.S. The American Hospital Association says more than half of the nation's hospitals are expected to be operating at a financial loss by the end of the year. And in Texas, a new report shows that close to one in 10 are on the brink of closure after federal COVID relief funds ending. Uh, Stephanie Haynes joins us live with the details and what providers are saying about the potential impact on patient care. Good morning, Stephanie. Yeah, good morning. Health workers here in Texas are bracing for some potential closures of hospitals, mainly the smaller, more rural ones who are not part of larger hospital systems, some of which that are based here in the DFW area. Bottom line is the cost of health care is rising. Hospitals can't keep up, and it could come at a big cost to the patient if their local hospital is forced to close. This morning, hospitals across the country are in dire fiscal health. More than half expected to be operating at a financial loss by the end of this year, according to the American Hospital Association. And that could come at a cost to the patient, with higher insurance premiums or limiting services. Shorter hours for clinics, uh, longer wait times in the, in the ED. And that's concerning because that just creates less access to care. In Texas, a new report shows more than 9% of hospitals are at risk of closing. That figure nearly doubling since the pandemic began, and close to half of all Texas hospitals have seen negative operating margins this year. And there's no end in sight as the $178 billion federal pandemic relief program is ending. I think that's the real concern right now when you layer that on uh, increased labor cost, increased cost for supplies, pharmaceuticals. He says Texas is bracing for more hospital closures next year because that federal funding helped prevent hospitals already on the brink of closure before the pandemic stay open. Health workers are now begging Congress to extend that federal relief money for the sake of their patients' health. He also says they are working with the state legislature and state agencies, especially when it comes to health care workers staffing them up, given such the health care shortage we are seeing, uh, health care worker shortage we are seeing across the country. Mitch. All right, Stephanie, thanks for that report. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.